real are you though, bro? You guys clean it up or you're gonna be lonely forever. Because you are a wolf that has removed its fangs. Snapshot oh. read on- David, I just realized what pill I am. Blue pill, black pill, or red pill? Which male dating pill do you think makes the most sense? All right, everybody, we're gonna be breaking down these popular pill terms that are going around on the internet. They're originally from the manosphere. And basically, you know, we just gotta talk about it. Yeah. I mean, people really like defining their life by matrix analogies, apparently. We're talking about the blue pill, the red pill, the black pill. Like I said, guys, this is not an endorsement at any of these. We only became familiar with these terms like for this video. But let's break it down for the people, man, because people have been asking us, hey, Fung Bros, are you guys blue, red, or black? And I was like, what are you even talking about, bro? And we are going to give you our perspective on whether you should be even using the pill framework. But anyways, guys, if you're excited, please hit this like button. Check out other episodes of Hop Hop Boys. Click subscribe. Turn on your notifications because we always got episodes coming out. All right, let's get into defining the pills very quickly. I think the blue pill is considered like the fantasy land pill, Andrew, the Disney pill. This is like Hitch. She's out of my league. This is the nice guys do not finish last. In fact, Andrew, the nice guys might finish first in life. That's what my teacher told me growing up. And uh, apparently, Andrew, the people from the red pill and the black pill tribe, they hate the blue pill tribe or they, they hate because they used to be it when they was young and it led them down not getting what they want. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of young men are raised this way. I, I think there's an argument to say that blue pill content is good for raising nice guys. I mean, I think it's good for raising guys who want to do the right thing in life. So I think when you're young, there's an argument that it's, you know, it's okay for your life. But, but ultimately, I guess the criticism is that this is not how life works. And that, you know, beauty is not just in the eye of the beholder. And you cannot just be yourself, bro, to get the girl <laughs> of your dreams. Andrew, are you saying that just being Kevin James or Adam Sandler doesn't lend you the girl of your dreams? Because that is what you have been taught in these movies. Hitch trying to program you, get a normal job, be a normal man, and you will get everything you want out of life because you are a wolf that has removed its fangs. You know what blue pill stuff says? It's kind of like if you go up to your basketball coach and you're like five foot three and you're like, hey man, I want to go to the NBA coach. And then the coach is like, yeah, just keep working hard every single day of your yep. life train for six hours man and you got a shot yeah it's like your coach being like hey man isaiah thomas and mugsy bogues did it so you have a chance bro nate robinson did it hey let's be honest guys i'm not saying that the blue pill is completely false i really don't think so because that's like oversimplified but you can't bet on the underdog every time statistically in gambling in sports that just not be smart which sort of leads us to the red pill this is the most controversial pill this is the pill that i would say maybe most guys on the internet fit into obviously uh raising andrew tate and jordan peterson to this level where basically it says that women when it comes to dating and who they're attracted to they are attracted to the most high value men and that to be a high value man, you gotta be successful, you gotta be fit, you gotta be masculine, you gotta be able to get stuff done, and you gotta be cool and have a dominant personality. Right, like there's five buckets that make up like an alpha man, but apparently none of them are being a nice guy. That is more like, I wanna say Andrew Tate's version at least. And this is where all the SEOs guys, like I said, this is not an endorsement at all. We're just saying like, what's popping right now? A lot of guys like the red pill though, because it does lead to a lot of self-improvement. However, um, when people talk about red pill stuff and kind of reduce what women want to very simple terms, often it can sound very problematic and misogynistic. Dave, this kind of goes back to something I feel like mom said growing up where she would like run into our room and be like, wow, your room is not clean. What kind of woman is wanting to date a guy who can't clean his room? You guys clean it up or you're gonna be lonely forever. Nah, dude, mom, I'm like super black pill now. It doesn't even matter because as I know, as long as I'm like six foot tall with six foot abs and like a sharp jawline, I just do whatever I want. That leads us to our breakdown of the black pill, Andrew. What is the black pill? I want to say that this is the newest pill that is gaining the most traction in 2022. The black pill is essentially lookism. It says that your ability to attract women basically weighs on just how good looking you are. And if you're not good looking and you wanna attract a woman, you may get friend zoned versus if you're good looking and you wanna attract a woman, you will become the actual boyfriend. Right, right, right. Sort of to our like previous analogy, Andrew, where mom was like barging in being like, look at how messy your room is. And then it's basically the guy's like, dude, if you're like super tall and good looking, Girls, they don't even care how your room looks, bro, because that's like, oh, that's not your face. Yeah, it's kind of funny growing up. I feel like you get a mixture of stuff if you have a mom like ours where my mom was like, 
Andrew, stand up straight. You got to look strong. What kind of woman's going to want a guy with a hunchback? So I was like, dang, this is like- That was kind of black pill them all. Yeah, all this like presentation stuff because all of it matters, right? Yeah, I mean, I think in the black pill theory, there are still five buckets, but that looks bucket like way outweighs the other ones by a large margin. And they even say that your personality development, I guess, is like linked to how society treats you at a young age, which is still based off looks. Uh, real quick, to close off the black pill, David, there's a theory that is getting more and more popular, especially at least in a country like America. Why is that? Um, I think it's because of the level of economic development that it's reached. You would expect places like Canada, America, maybe the UK, Japan, super high like median incomes to possibly be at the point where it's almost like, well, we just accomplished everything. It just matters uh, if you can accomplish things while looking good because everybody can accomplish things. Everything's been accomplished. Right. There's a theory that maybe in, I guess, more developing countries, third world countries or people from third world countries, they're going to more value like red pill stuff, like how much the man can provide, protect and the things that he can do. I mean, I think the truth is I don't even like pill theory at all. And I just literally looked this up like this week to whoa, make whoa, this wait, David, video. David. You don't identify as a colored pill? No, I do not, but I understand it's like a fun way to talk about concepts that are like difficult to understand and broach and bring up into the discussion. What pill are you though, bro? Bro, that's the real key, bro. If you had to accept this premise and pick a pill, what pill are you? Dude, you're really putting me on the spot here. Um, let me let me tell you this, guys. I don't subscribe to a pill. Oh my gosh, maybe that's a cop-out answer, but I'll tell you why. Basically, I don't think one of pill applies to all men all across the world. Here's why. I think everybody's in a different situation and you really need to answer these three questions if you're going to dive into this pill stuff. You need to ask yourself, what are your expectations out of dating? Do you want to date a lot of women or you want to have fun or, or do you want like a, a valuable long-term relationship? Or also you have to ask yourself like what type of women are you trying to attract or what type of woman can you attract? And then also, I think another question is like, where are you at? Like, what is your environment? What city are you in? Because different cities and different countries, they can value different things about men. Yeah. I think long story short, man, if you're in the nonprofit world or the religious world or some world where intentions matter a lot, or when everybody's super good looking like a model, the blue pill could totally work. I noticed, Andrew, on dating shows where everybody's super good looking, then the blue pill theory really comes into play because it's like all personalities based because everybody's already gorgeous. If you said, like you said, if you need a general, if you need a project manager, if you need some sort of like man to shape shift the society, that's more red pill. Like you said, sec maybe second world countries, they need more red pill guys to be super alpha and build it up. But once you're in these like super developed economies, it's possible that lookism in the black pill thing just as like bigger deals like i think women have always been subject to black pill theory which is like lookism and then nowadays if men and women are becoming more equalized especially in certain economies then men would be more subject to it but if you worked in pr modeling acting black pills like always been your reality people need more tailored solutions i think that it's way more like an equation with coefficients and calculus but a lot of people don't like that so they just go with the matrix like pills but really it's like a distribution of pie slices and how big are your pie slices for your situation but the thing is a lot of young guys obviously they're picking a pill and it's just too early david i just realized what pill i am i'm a math pill i think it's a math equation man it's multivariable, and you gotta fill in the blanks and things are weighted differently and your environment matters obviously how you look does matter but also how successful you are and your status matters and all these things matter so i'm a math pill is that stereotypical for an asian guy to be a math pill yeah it is <laughs> to be honest asians like math equations i would say this long story short guys in 2022 Chris Middleton is a much better basketball player than Kelly Oubre and Kyle Kuzma. Kelly Oubre and Kyle Kuzma have way more endorsements than Chris Middleton. They got sneakers, they got clothing contracts, they got all the female fans. Chris Middleton, by all metrics, is a champion and just a much better basketball player. If you want to win a championship, get five Chris Middletons. If you want to win a popularity contest and like shut down Twitter or Instagram, get some Kelly Oubre's and Kyle Kuzma's. But if I had to say, Andrew, I feel like Gen Z right now, they more with the Kyle Kuzmas and Kelly Oubre's. That's my snapshot oh. read on modern American society. All right, everybody, we're going to wrap it up there. Let us know what you thought about the definitions, um, what type of pill you are. Are you blue, red, black, or maybe you're some other pill, or maybe you're a math pill, or maybe you're not. You don't subscribe to this pill thing at all. That's totally okay because ultimately, guys, uh, I think it's all just meant to like make you the best version of yourself, I guess. Does At least in the right version of it. I think it could be 
all the bad things that the yeah. manosphere is, or it could be the good thing that the manosphere is. Like we said, we're not native to this sphere. We are not even part of it at all, but we did do the research because a lot of people have been asking us, hop, hop, boys, not scared of the tough topics. Please let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, we out. Peace.